Hello everyone, my name is Roma and today we're going to do a Pantheon tutorial. We're going to do a Pantheon mid tutorial because as you have seen on uh, LEC or LCS, uh, I don't know if I pronounced that right, there are a lot of Pantheon mid players already. So yeah, so Rakato, Pantheon mid, roamers or champions that can hit the map from the top lane or the mid lane to help the bot lane basically. So Soraka top ults bot, Pantheon mid ults bot. So uh, I want to do a quick mid lane tutorial. We're going to do another Tulia video this week, uh, next week, sorry. And we're going to see how to actually play with this champion. Now, uh, first you have to defend here, obviously. Uh, and if you want to uh, proc your Conqueror, by the way, we're going to start with Runes, Conqueror, Triumph, Legend, Alacrity, Coupe de Grace or Last Stand, and Biscuit Delivery Time or Tonic, and here I went for Armor because I thought I was against Wukong, and I was right, so no Maokai support in the Nivea mid, so it's okay. And with Conqueror, if you play with it and hit the uh, full W on when you have 5 stacks, basically you're going to proc it instantly. So what you want, especially in a melee matchup, is to start W so you can proc instantly Conqueror. Now for items, Corrupting Potion, Yumus, Armor Boots maybe in this context, Draktar, Black Cleaver, and then Stopwatch into a Guardian Angel and stuff like that. Now, Summoner Spells, it's Doran, uh, it's uh, Ignite and uh, Flash mostly. Some players go for Teleport, but I believe on mid lane this is the best thing that you could go for. And as you can see I have 5 stacks again. So you can, against matchups that you can hit them or reach them, you could easily go for this as I am. And just poke, okay, just poke, poke and poke. Now I'll make level 2 and I can even go for the kill now with a flash. Perhaps we can actually do that. But yeah, now for um, spells and her build, You'd want to get or max Q first, but you're going to get W at level 1 in most cases, especially if you are into melee matchups. And at this point, every time you're going to want to oops, going to want to go ward because you might get ganked, obviously. So this is a safest zone to ward. You, you can see even on Tulia, I usually ward that every single game. And yeah, that's a good way to to play with it. Now, again, start with W but max Q and max W afterwards. Okay. I got a bit troll there. Okay, full Q now, good. He has no potion, so basically next time I'll flash. Flash, W, Q, ignite, and that's a kill. And he's dead because of the ignite, right? Okay. So you can do that combo simply because your Q deals a lot of damage or crit damage on low targets, on low HP targets. So that's what I want you to do whenever you play this. And at level 6 after you got some kills as I do right now, uh, you can actually start roaming bot and focus on that. Now I want real quick to push this wave to go back home. Okay. So as you can see, we're going to talk in a second about, uh, about um, this charge bar that Pantheon has. Okay, I need to go away from here. Okay. Block all the damage and maybe escape with our lives. Exactly. That's how it works. I blocked Wukong's damage and possibly also Volibear's spell with that. And so we're starting the item that we talked about. We also made them waste their flash ignite wukong flash ignite okay so let's start a little and talk about spells on pantheon because some of you might not know what they exactly do now the q you have seen if you press it instantly it's a it's a melee range spear if you hold it you're going to throw it for a longer distance now basically if you read on the bottom there if you have uh, the five stacks of mortal will basically if you auto attack five times and you have the bar full then your q will deal extra damage now your q will also crit on uh wait on lower targets i'm gonna ping that this is missing lower hp targets and we want usually to do our full q uh whenever the target is low or just in general hit the full q because it's simple to uh deal more damage with that now we can go for a free kill uh, okay no longer i need to go long way 
and so we're gonna get some kills here because Lysin is coming as well <coughs> okay so okay we got that she got in range okay that's the Q if you have five stack of Q you're gonna to, you're going to deal extra damage as I said if you have five stacks of W you're going to strike three times and with two more auto attacks you're going to proc instant conqueror your E basically gives you immunity to all damage and it's a longer E so basically use it whenever you feel that you need to survive longer okay so it prolongs your E duration now your all doesn't have any special oh my god I lost that one any special uh, interactions with his mortal will mechanic but it's fine I guess now we are 2-0 right now we're doing great now once Wukong is level 6 we're going to want to block some of his uh, alt damage so our our uh, E might come handy for that and we're going to safely farm right now and once you make level 6 I want you to start playing like a Talia main <laughs> because this is a Talia main channel mostly so you're gonna ward aggressively you're gonna check where their jungler is you're going to try to, to try to jump on bot lane whenever possible so like right now because they have no word okay they don't know okay go 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 okay so Jinx got that I'm gonna full crit this okay so that's how you actually roam it's a simple roam it's a free kill now I'm going here to get my mana bar back Lysin also gets experience on mid whenever if you're a jungle whenever you see your mid laner roaming bot and there is waves crashing in the tower you can go if you cannot reach the lane okay because wave creeps give more much more experience than the other way around so and then you have also your jungle to farm as a jungler if you do that you're going to gain significant advantage now i can go actually towards fiora no longer needed she can back off she can back off because volibear is coming but i want to go to fight volibear right here actually i can take this because if he comes i will just jump on him I don't care. Oh, come on. That passive is annoying. Yeah, that was my bad. I kind of forgot about Volibear's passive, but apparently. Yeah, now we cannot. Okay, I guess. He still stood around. So we got the kill. Now the score is 6-0. We're doing great. And we kinda got revenge for that uh, Volibear gank that didn't manage to kill us. Now, again, items. Yumus first, get boots, Draktar. Well, get boots before finishing Yumus, obviously, but upgrade boots after Yumus. Vision words whenever you can, red trinket whenever you feel like your team doesn't have enough. So basically in this game no one in my team has red trinket and maybe they will not get it, so I have to get it if they don't. So right now I'm going to recall, I have uh, enough gold for Yumus, boots and a vision word as you can see. Also, you, you could try to time your recalls with your ult sometime if you can, as in if I stood two more waves if I had HP for it. I would have stood two more waves so that ultimate comes up right when I recall so that I can instantly ult bot and get some kills. Maybe even a dive in this context could work because I could definitely get a kill. As a tip, always use your E when diving towards the tower as you will obviously not die to the dive that you just cause. Okay, so get that. Back off a bit. Move Yumus on the first one. And after I push this, I will put the vision ward. Remember, I do the mistake of not putting the vision ward up whenever I come to lane. You should do that. Oops. A bit more loose lost CS, yes, but it's fine. What we're interested in is in just roaming at this point. CS is important, but roaming bot, especially in this context. Okay. So we got the flash down. I don't know why Jinx AFK'd. I did not understand that. And yeah. 
they should have. I should have pinged actually. It's my it's my fault on that. Sorry. Obviously I should have pinged. And probably in this context a better roam would have been top. But at least I got the flash of their ADC. Now you gotta you gotta consider your options. It's the same as on Talia and on Soraka. When you press that altar, when you do that map impacting thingy. Okay, so it's very important to work around that. Now I know Volibear is coming, so I'm just going to sidestep towards bottom. I can try to do another gank here. Because now you have the movement speed from the Yumus. Also you can even try to go for Mobis, some people do that. And we're going to get her. Obviously. Maybe we get to conquer too. Maybe he gets a triple kill. Oh my god. <laughs> she did so. <laughs> she turned towards him. <laughs> okay. So that was a good Wukong comeback. Okay, he came here perfectly. And basically he got himself a nice little advantage. Now I'll want to go for uh, Moby Boots because we want to roll more and we want to get those. Also that Jinx Flash man was so late and also my reaction with E was so late. I was in under the tower that's why I died but it's not a problem we're going to step up and uh, gang more bot lane because Caitlyn is 0-4 okay so we need to capitalize on that. Uh, I'm coming. You should actually press Q and run towards me. I cannot save you. Okay, go. You lived. You lived. Okay. <laughs> and so we got another kill. Now, while they see me coming, we did a good thing that we fought there, even though. We knew, we knew that Wukong had no ult, okay, so that was why. And that flame from Volibear. Okay, now we have ult again, and we kinda expect Wukong coming back, but we want this plate. Okay, so get the plate, and then we're on bot again. And we might be again ganked by Wukong, but we see him here, so we can actually move bot now and instantly alt whenever they appear alt okay so this is okay come on come on okay so that was a simple gank wukong might be coming now definitely wukong is coming now or top Back off, back off, back off, back off. Yeah, probably Wukong is diving top at this point. And... We can actually get this now. I don't know, I don't know where Wukong went and it kind of trips me out. Okay, I see him now. Use the Q, empowered Q, and then E towards the damage that came from that guy. Now Wukong is top and Fiora might die. I mean, she will certainly die at this point. Or, she just outplayed them massively for some reason. Good job, Fiora. And so we go now for Draktar. And I bought that in hopes that we actually get this vision worth killed, but they didn't. So yeah. Right now we're currently going for uh, Draktar and then move towards Black Cleaver or a stopwatch depending on needs now. Those items help you because they give cooldown reduction as well. And in this context maybe... In this context maybe it would have been better for me to actually get... Uh, to actually get Tabis. Because they don't really have any heavy AP. As you can see here. So that's why maybe, but for roaming purposes, I believe this item is very good. 
Now you can see that my CS is not that high, but this is mainly because of their spam roams that I've just done and I keep doing. You can see I have 9 out of 13 kill participation. And this might be a bad idea. So we're gonna work here. And we can actually kill. kill there so whenever you have advantage like this what you want to do is to be extremely careful on not passing random gold and Wukong Roms might do that it's probably here you should just fight him okay we found him. we found the Kong there so it's fine now if I proc if I proc my W against to Kong then we're good back off because his ult will instantly melt you we can get that Aniviado or we can get Caitlyn again watch this okay we're going here and from here we're jump jumping instantly on Caitlyn because probably they did not work and we're not seeing Caitlyn here yeah they engaged as expected okay so here is she Ah, very good flash. No one died from our team? That's amazing. Okay, so if you get fed like me, you should help your team afterwards. For some reason though, they didn't back off and I pinged. It was obvious that they were going to engage. Oh my god, sure I might die. Actually go, 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 go. gonna get that kill don't <laughs> don't pass kills to Lee Sin's unless they are godlike players because Lee Sin generally is a champion that cannot carry pretty much like every Lee Sin player that you see on every division will usually pass kills okay okay back off I need to recall and getting the direct tower up they are fighting again getting a vision word again because of more aggressive repositioning because we're going to need to reposition that and what we have to do here is to be extremely careful towards that don't do stupid things back off dude you need to, you need to control them with pings because if she engages there they will certainly die here now he has armor it's fine and because we cleared the wave here this is a trick that you can do on Tulia as well because you cleared the wave it's very hard for them to actually do anything okay so this is an easy easy kill if you clear the waves and they don't flash out immediately they're going to get hit by the tower so that's, that's a very interesting thing to consider and now when you use Q with full stacks every time you can get waves pretty fast and we need to get here, you need to go for the Drake might even get this if they don't fight, but they do fight flash out you're dead for some reason that Jinx keeps fighting nearby there I'm coming, come on, do it, do it, do it they don't battle with this apparently. What is this guy doing? Oh my god. Okay, so we got it. And we need to be careful towards the Wukong because he has the ult. He didn't use it. Oh, I'm seeing Volga. And this is an extremely good spot to put this back off actually yeah no inting by team again delicious inting as you can see I can farm pretty nicely with 
uh, with this. Uh, there's a red buff that I might want. I have fish over there so we can easily path towards it, maybe. Okay, so attack, full Q. Another full Q. Jesus Christ! The fuck, man? Just, just, you're going to die to the next Wukong ult. And this is not worth it. Okay, we need to go here. No, don't, don't, don't engage, don't engage, don't engage. Fukong flashes on her, she's dead and lost that buff, okay? So that's why we don't really want it. We know we can survive much more than her, so focus on that. Now here the decision is, do I get this or do I get a stopwatch? And we can get this because we're quite far ahead and we're not really jumping into stupid dives. As you can see, I'm keeping up this. Go back, go back, go back. <laughs> that was so close. He would have died there, actually. I don't mind Wukong jumping on me. Okay. I don't know where Wukong is. And I believe they have dealt with him. Oh, okay, he recalled. I need to be careful because if he jumps instantly, I need to E instantly, okay? And whenever you see the clone not moving, it means that he... Okay, right now, okay, no, not yet. And all I have to do is just click on him and do my full damage because... I need to stop him from instantly deleting my team. Jinx especially. this one more okay that and now we can recall we complete this item and get another vision world or two because we want to have that superiority in terms of vision and as you can see i'm the second in my team because of those vision words and i'm not going to go for the red trinket because they don't seem to i don't know they don't seem to clear words either so, I can just put words freely. Okay, so, we need to clear around Baron now. This is the next step towards finishing. Okay, lots of words there. I'm still going after it. But I don't want to risk it because I have that huge bounty. And back off. We don't. We don't need to force. We need to get this. Come on. Can I pull them together? Oh, we can get Baron until that Drake appears. Put this here. It's the same bloody thing. Ah, you cannot do the Baron because your jungler goes far away. He could have gone both until then, but yeah. I suppose Alfiora might die here, especially if they jump on her. But yeah, Dragon Soul is a very important thing. Now this item, I'm not sure how good this is for them or on any other champion, because that's an item for split pushers, okay? And Wukong is not really a split pusher in this game. He has to kill, he has to kill Jinx, he has to kill me with that ult, okay? So... It's not exactly going as he probably wanted. Okay. I don't have ult. We cannot end, I think, but we could try. I mean, yeah, we should, we should go better. Come on. Okay. 
I put that vision over there, we have enough space, this is a free win and we did great towards it just lots of roams and solo kills that that can be done, even double kills, that can be done solo double kills I mean by Pantheon players because of the strong kit that he actually has I mean he does fall off late game if you aren't extremely ahead and he can be assassinated but just like pretty much any other mid roaming slash assassin He's extremely strong in this context. And now we're gonna sell this because we want to get a stopwatch or something towards the GA. Now, against their team, honestly, this item would be better. And also, I'm going to go for this. Even though I could have probably bought a bit of sword, I'd rather have the armor. Because they don't really have... I mean, stopwatch, it's useless against the Wukong because he already dealt damage to me once I'm, you know... You don't really have time to use stopwatch before his ult, because it's very hard to predict. But with some extra armor we're good. So this is some decision logic based on that. Now we need to go bot. So we get that also for some extra experience. You can see I'm not, by far, I'm not the first in CS, I'm the last one. But in kill participation I'm actually first. So. It's a very important, important thing to do. I could, could jump there. And now we assume that they are going to retreat, okay? So that's why we're going behind them. We're getting those kills. And we get the free win right there. I mean, I destroyed their back lane, their back lane without much fuss. And that was... That was all that I have to do. Now Farah sacrificed herself and Wukong was far away from me. But even then, if Wukong killed three people, I would have killed two and they would have still been low enough for me to finish, especially on Volibear and likes of that. So this is the Pantheon tutorial that I just did. Thank you, thank you very much for this game. Uh, I really hope you enjoy this kind of tutorials. And as I said, we're going to do another game in our 100% win streak to Leah, uh, ranked on ranked to master experience. So this is how you play Pantheon mid, how I play generally. I was a Pantheon OTP once, long, long ago, like three, four, five years ago. I played this game for a while now. <laughs> and yeah, this is the tutorial and see you next time guys. I really hope you enjoy it.